What's going on guys, it's Dane here from Achievement Land and I'm here with an achievement walkthrough for Life is Strange True Colors. This game released on Xbox September 9, 2021 for a price of $59.99. It was developed by Deck 9 Games and published by Square Enix. As with the other games in the series, it's a pretty straightforward completion. There's an achievement for finishing each of the game's 5 chapters, one for each of the 25 memories we need to find, one for each of the 4 side quests, an achievement for finding all five memories in each chapter and one for finding every memory in the whole game. It will only take about seven hours to complete and in this guide I'm going to point out where every missable achievement is, which is only the 25 collectibles and four side quests. You can use chapter select at the end if you miss anything to go back and clean them up. The chapter number and scene title will be displayed on screen at all times so you'll be able to use the timestamps in the comments to find exactly what you may have missed. So as you can see when we look through the chapter select we can see the chapter, the scene title and that little icon indicates which scenes have memories, how many there are and how many you have. So this first memory is in the first chapter when we are in the room when we have to unpack our backpack in the story we'll find this letter sitting on the desk. Hold left trigger and hold A. That's what we need to do for every memory. Hold left trigger and hold A. This next memory is in the same room, so if we turn around, don't go into the kitchen, turn around here and head towards the exit, you'll see a crack on the wall just below this tiger poster. Hold left trigger and hold A. To observe it, unlock the memory and unlock the achievement. Yeah, is, is there like a forwarding address on file? I'm sorry, sir. That's not information we retain. Thanks again for calling. This next one is when we start working in the bar. So what we want to do is head around the side of the bar and we'll find a business card by the monitor. We want to hold left trigger and A. You're the nicest cop I've ever met. Whoa! Hey! This next one is when we're searching for Ethan. We're in the outside area of the mines. We want to head over underneath this yellow chute directly in front of us. So over here, we can see this helmet. Hold left trigger and A. I got you. I got you. It's okay. You're okay. Oh God, we're alive. Uh, Once we get inside the building in the mines, there's a phone on the wall right near where we start. So we just want to highlight that with left trigger and A. And that will also unlock the achievement for finding all five memories in the first chapter. For me, the find all memories in the chapter achievement popped before the individual memory achievement. In chapter 2, we want to go up to the rooftop of our room and along these plants there'll be a button which if we hold left trigger we can see it from a distance away and then hold A when we get close to it. I wouldn't try to stop you. Yeah, good. I'll be the only trans person in a town with a population of like four. That sounds like a blast for me. Thank you. This next one is downstairs in the bar, so head over to where the exit sign is above the door. And on the left hand side there will be an umbrella in the coat rack that we can interact I with. An incredible mom. I, I decided I wanted to be a ranger. She was the first person I told. She said... This next one we're going to find is in the same area, so we just want to turn around and head back towards the bar. Bye mom. And we want to go behind the counter. We're going to look at a rent check. So it's not at this end, it's at the other end. So we'll turn around. And on the right hand side we can see the rent check. Let's interact with that. 
Okay. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do for me, Mr. Lucan, but I'm not staying long. And I don't take handouts. This next one is our first side quest. We want to help out a bird watcher. So head over into the park under this archway. And there will be a bird watcher if we talk to her. Cool binoculars. You bird watching? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to win a contest. Oh. Good and luck. if we head over Thanks. around this way, you can't actually access the footpath from the garden. So we need to head around to the footpath, follow it around. And to the left, there will be a large tree with a bird inside it. So look at the bird. I wonder if this is the bird that woman is looking for. Maybe I should let my And then we will head back know. into the park and talk to the bird watcher lady. That will complete the quest that and give us an achievement. Friend. This is the first of four side quests and they are all missable just There's like the memories. Bird over by the wall. Seriously? That might be my hawk. Thank you. Our next side quest is straight after. We want to run down the street and enter the record store and talk to this guy wearing the hoodie. Well, actually, use your power. And he's missing his dog. So head over to this bulletin board and look at it. And that's the dog he's looking for. So we can back out of here, go back and talk to the guy in the hoodie again. And that will complete that side quest and give us another achievement. So the side quests are very easy, very straightforward, and the solution is typically immediately nearby. Now we want to head to the dispensary. And when we try to enter it, there's going to be a cutscene, which I am going to skip, but I just wanted to show you that there'll be an interaction here with Diane. So once we're inside, there'll also be a fairly lengthy cutscene with some dialogue choices with Charlotte. But when that's over, we want to head out the back here. And on the right hand side, there will be a jar of gummy bears. We want to use our power on that. Man, these things better do the trick. I'm averaging like three hours a night. Pro tip? Insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere, and THC is way After this achievement, we want to head to the flower shop. Again, there'll be another cutscene, which I have skipped. So head to the left here and interact with this t-shirt at the bottom of the blue drawers. What do you want? That will give us you want to make fun of me too, that like achievement for that memory, as well as the achievement for finding all of the memories in Chapter 2. You made a sick killer robot. There might be a bit of a delay like I had. You'll see it pop First right all, now. We got third place. And anyway, he's not a robot. Technically, he's. Oh, God. Way to take the bait, right? Time to earn a paycheck. At the start of chapter three, dirty dishes around the bar. we want to head to the exit area again where we went for the umbrella earlier. And there's going to be a bomber jacket we want to use our power on. That will give us that memory and its achievement. Jeez, I don't know, boss man. Maybe you could wear it, like the rest of us are gonna do. You think I want to broadcast my? Now our next side quest is in the, the bar as well, so we want to turn around and head to the booth on the left, just past the stairs. There will be a student. Here she goes. So use our power on her. And we'll find she's thinking of a song. Really so what we need to do song. is we need to talk to, to Steph and Ryan about the song. Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, Where are you? We can't skip any. From Rome. Holy shit. Blast from the past. Alabaster daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Eventually Jed pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. 
You could ask him. So we'll take Sweet. Steph's advice and we'll go ask Jed about the song. Do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh, hell. Like brother, like sister, huh? Fine. Guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. So now we will head behind the bar and we can find the record there. Just under the monitor. And now interact with the jukebox. All right. Let's hear this infamous And song. select the song in question. Which is Think of the Children by Alabaster Daydreams. As soon as we play the song, the achievement will unlock for completing that side quest. After we've defeated the wolf in the LARP event, turn around and we can use our power on the dollar bill lying on the ground. I swung over the top once. No way. Prove it. I'll give you a dollar if you can. Then we want to head back to the bar. The Black Lantern and interact with the appointment slip on the floor, right next to the door. It just pisses me off so bad, you know? The way this world is designed to make you into a horrible person. We're going to head inside for our next memory. It's just the price we pay for safety. And once we're inside, head through to the pool room. And we're looking for old paper, which is not on this side, it is on the Opposite side. So if we turn left when we came through the door, we would see the old paper and use our power on it. The 13th quinquennial meeting of the Daegu Biscuit Boys is hereby called to order. While we're wandering around looking for the jewels in this mission, we're going to head into the record store and use our power on the Valkyrie dish on the floor. It's just to the right of Steph. And that will also be our final memory for Chapter 3, so we'll get the achievement for finding all five in Chapter 3 as well. Where did you come from? Are you the one I've been hearing in the walls? Our next one's at the very start of the fourth chapter. The Pressed Rose. We want to use our power on that, and it's just hanging on the wall. Above the table. You give roses to your crush at the Spring Festival, so... I've never had a girl give me flowers before. I'm sorry. Anyway, Our next one is a side quest when we are at the festival. We want to find a man counting beans at a jelly counter. So then, sorry, at a jelly bean counter. After which isn't on this side, it is on the here. other side. So he's trying to guess how many jelly beans are in the jar. I don't know why I did that. No. The red so we want to talk to him, the jelly bean counter. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing. Again, very we can't seriously. skip any kind of yeah. interactions the in this game. This is a $100 gift card. Chrissy's been all anxious ever since she got lost. So, I thought I could get her a bunch of treats. Which is really embarrassing, saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? Press B. Say 800. It's always more than you think it is. I'd say like 800 or so. Now we want to read the woman's mind, yeah. read her emotions. Hey. So use our power on her like once we can. Just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. So use left trigger and A to yeah, read her. Actually not bad. Hopefully they don't go lower. Oh. And she'll give close. us the clue that we want to go lower. So talk to the jelly bean counter dude again. Hey. I've got another guess. Yeah. And we'll say 700 this time. So press I B think again. It's closer to 700. Yeah. 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. So let's read her read again. Her again. Hear me. They're really close to 731. And 731 is, is the magic the number, so we're going to talk yet. to the guy again. Tell him 731, and we will complete 
our fourth and final side quest. Now while we're in this area we're going to clean up a bunch of memories one after the other. So just behind him is the stage. We're going to go over and use our power on the drum kit. And once that's over, we can head around to the right, around behind the stage, and we can use our power on a microphone lying on the ground for another memory and achievement. Hey, uh, hey, hello, everybody. Can I have your attention? Jed, what are you doing? I just wanted to take this opportunity to say, right here, in front of God and everyone, that Annette Teresa Foster is just the most beautiful woman in the world. They say the spring festival and now we are going to head all the way back to the bar. And, and since you guys are going to be following along with me, I haven't edited this out. So just come along with me. Follow the path. And turn right here and head back towards town. And we'll head inside the Black Lantern bar. We gave it a shot. Oh, stop. At this point in the game, the layout of the town should be fairly familiar to you anyway. Once inside, we're going to head down to the very end area yet again, near the red exit sign, and on the wall there's going to be a Polaroid. So use our power on that, on the right hand side, here it is. Use our power, and that will be another memory and achievement. Come on son, get it over with. I, I don't want to get sick. You're going to feel a whole lot better after you do. Come. I'm gonna die, Dad! Not tonight, you're not birthday boy. Alright, so now we can exit the bar and we're going to run over near the flower shop. That will be our fifth memory for Chapter 4, which will also unlock the Find All Five memories for Chapter 4 Achievement 2. The load times in this game are a little bit crazy, even on Series X. But what can you do, right? So head left and run down the main street of town. Lots of people still hanging out on Main Street tonight. There's like five. I'm not sure that's a lot. Right, so here's the flower shop. We want to turn right and we want to head down this way. And then we're going to turn right again when we can. Past the bridge of flowers? Near all these pot ride. plants. And interact with this CIT sticker. That's our final memory for the chapter, and as I mentioned, we'll also get the Find All memories in this chapter achievement too. So only one chapter to go, five more memories to find, and then we will have our completion. I might just wait at the bus stop. Avoid the parade of goodbyes. When we are in the hospital room memory, we want to use our power on Alex's mother's keys. Scary news today, and I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. 
Our next achievement is when Gabe and their father are arguing outside in this in their home. We want to head right and head into the kitchen, and we're going to use our power on a business card on the right hand side in the corner. Hey Gabe, I'm Leslie Halloran. I'm from the Oregon State Child Protective Services. We got a call from someone who said there might have been some kind of fight here last night. Play my part. Our next one is in the orphanage memory. We want to head to this bottom bed on the left and use our power on the guitar strings. Why can't I have my guitar? We've been over this, Alex. This next memory is story related and will unlock automatically as we're exploring the mines during a cutscene. So it's nice to get a freebie right at the end of the game. And our final memory is when we are back in our room after we wake up, head to the table at the end and use our power on the bomber jacket. That will be our fifth memory for chapter five, which will give us the memory achievement, the find all memories in chapter five achievement, and the find all collectibles in the entire game achievement. That's the last of our achievements. That is the 100% missable walkthrough guide for Life is Strange True Colors. Thanks so much for watching, I hope it helped you, leave a like if it did, and I'll catch you next time, here at Achievement Land.